He's a U.S. Open champion. He's a player's champion, a multiple winner on the PGA Tour. But Webb Simpson is most proud of being a loving husband, a devoted father as well. And he's got five kids at home, aging from one to nine. Webb, what's your, what's your household like right now? Uh, well, we're on a schedule. We're on a strict schedule. So basically, 8.30 to 10.30 or 11 is school. Um, and I, I think I, I sound like a lot of other people who are doing school from home that there's a whole new respect for teachers uh, around the world. I mean, it's, it's hard, but school happens in the morning. Uh, then we have lunch. Then my wife and I have instituted a one hour non-negotiable, uh, don't argue with us, rest time every day. Uh, <laughs> And, and so thankfully we're, we're in spring uh, here. And so the weather's been nice. So there's plenty of playtime outside mixed in with the school as well. Don't want to diminish the global situation, what we're all experiencing right now, but what have been the positives for you during this whole episode? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I've been a pro now since 2008 and played college golf, amateur golf, junior golf before that. I've never experienced this amount of time uh, where I can't really play or practice that much. Um, there's nothing really to gear up and get ready to go do. So it's kind of a guilt-free time with the family where, you know, in the past I'm, I might want to be with the family and I, I am with the family, but I'm thinking about the things that I can improve on in golf. And so right now I've been able to really fully be present and, and you know, enjoy breakfast and not feel like I need to rush out and go practice. Uh, or, you know, late afternoon walks with the family. Those, those have been new for me because usually I'm, I'm doing something for golf. And so they're as sad as it is around the world and as tough as it's going to get, it sounds like, um, there, there have been a, a few positives as well. Have you been working on your game at all? Have you done anything? Yeah, so uh, practice facilities now are shut down um, all around Charlotte. Um, and golf courses are still open, but, you know, it's members only. So I, I'm at Quail. I am able to play there. Last week I played a few rounds with some other pros who live here in Charlotte. We played, we played kind of a make-up 54-hole tournament. We played River Run, Irish Creek, and then Pinehurst number two for the final round. So we got some competition in. Um, it's a little funny. Everybody's got their own cart. We're staying six feet away from each other. Nobody's touching each other's golf ball or anything like that. So it, fe it feels a little funny, but it's also good to still compete as long as we're able to. You know, you mentioned that 54-hole um, outing you had with some friends and fellow pros. Was that important for you to kind of remain competitively sharp a bit? Yeah, I think so. I mean, just getting out and playing and putting a little something on the line, it's a little different purse we had than uh, a normal tournament on the PGA Tour, but it still means something. You still want to play well. And, you know, I, I was able to to notice a couple things that weren't uh, the way I like it. And I thought I was going to be able to go work on it this week, but now everything's, you know, facility-wise is shutting down. But, yeah, it is good. It's good to to keep that mindset that I might have in a golf tournament. All right, let's, again, with all due respect to what's happening globally, let's talk about the PGA Tour. How confident are you that the PGA Tour will resume at Colonial May 21st for the Charles Schwab Challenge? Um, Todd, it's so hard to say. I mean, one thing that I'm doing is I'm staying in, uh, you know, pretty much every few day contact with Ross Berlin or Jay Monahan of the PGA Tour, um, trying to get updates. There, I know – on the phone every day with the governing bodies, um, those responsible for, you know, putting up sponsorships for a PGA Tour throughout the year. Um, and so I know it's a massive work in progress. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem likely that we're going to go back at the end of May. That seems too soon from what I'm hearing from all the news reports. Um, you know, in my mind, what I'm mentally planning on with, with tournaments moving from June and July is, you know, hopefully we go back in June. Maybe it's going to be July when it gets hot everywhere around the country. Um, but also think I've learned in the last few weeks that I, I can't be too surprised. So if we don't go back to August or whenever, I won't be surprised. You know, there's been so many curveballs through this virus that um, I'm not really uh, anticipating a certain date. All right, as of now, eight PGA Tour events have been canceled. Three have been postponed. Uh, when the tour resumes competition, what should happen with the FedEx Cup season? Should it end as scheduled, in your opinion, or should we elongate it? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think 
I think if we came back uh, mid-June or earlier, then we keep it as is. But I think if we come back late June or early July, I don't think it's fair to – to say, hey, we're going to start the playoffs in August. I don't think it's enough time for guys. They will have missed three months of, of golf, uh, roughly, you know, 12, 15 tournaments that could have been massive for them. Um, but I know it's also, you know, it's a lose-lose, I feel like, because the other guys who might have got, got off to a good start, uh, one of my buddies, David Coker, on the on the Corn Ferry, or, uh, yeah, Corn Ferry Tour, he won in Mexico a few weeks ago. And so he's almost all but locked up his PGA Tour card so he could – as it was before coronavirus, could start on the PGA Tour in September at Greenbrier, uh, which is an amazing thought. And so for him or, or a guy like um, me or someone who's gotten off to a fast start, it could hurt them because they got more tournaments to play, but also know um, they're going to make the best decision. I want them to make the decision that's fair for everyone. Um, and so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. Hey, on that argument, Webb, if, if they do come back, let's say – early June and finish the season as scheduled right now, there's a very real possibility that multiple, if not all the major championships may be played in the fall. Are you comfortable with a FedEx Cup season without a major championship or at least a few less? Um, I am. I mean, the, the majors have more FedEx Cup points, but, you know, as a whole for the year, we're playing every week for 500 FedEx Cup points. Um, hmm. And so I think there's enough time there to determine who are the top players, even if we leave out a few of the bigger tournaments. Um, and so I think at this point, the, the hope for everyone is that we get more golf in this season. Um, I think that's number one. Number two is we'll figure out whether or not we're going to end in August or September or wrap it around for the whole next year. But I think, I think everyone would agree. We just want to play golf. We want everyone to be safe. We want to come back at the appropriate time. Um, and when we do come back, it'll be a great feeling. Uh, finally, I want to end with the Olympics. Um, the Olympics, of course, were postponed to the summer of 2021. Now, you were the first alternate currently, or are the first alternate currently for the U.S. team. Is it a good thing or a bad thing that these games have been postponed just from you possibly playing on that team, given that you were right on the cusp? Yeah, I mean, honestly, Todd, like I think about the other athletes who – They've trained for a few years now for this one event. And golf's a little different in the sense that we're kind of always training to be ready throughout the year. And so it's, you know, I hope to be playing well next year. But like you said, I, I was right there. I had a great opportunity to make the team. Um, and so it's definitely a thought for me. Um, I, I thought about once they moved the date that, man, it's going to be that much harder to continue to play at this high level to make that you know, U.S. team, but it's a great goal. Uh, maybe it'll it, it'll get me to stay more motivated and focused than I was this year to make the team. Um, but we'll see. Webb, I appreciate your time. Take care of that awesome family in North Carolina, and uh, we hope to see you out on the golf course really soon. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe.